Welcome to the studios of CMU Public Television. Tonight, the Red Division Championship game between Midland and Linden, next on Quiz Central. Quiz Central is brought to you in part by the CMU Bookstore. Your source for maroon and gold pride is the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, and maroon and gold memories can be found at the CMU Bookstore. If it's textbooks you need, you'll find them new and used. If you're looking for technology, the CMU Bookstore's Microchips is an Apple authorized dealer. The CMU Bookstore, on campus in the University Center and online at cmubookstore.com. And by the Michigan Education Association and its 150,000 members, advocating for a world-class public education that ensures a bright future for Michigan students and economy. Online at mea.org. And on the buzzers, Quiz Central begins now. Hudson. St. Petersburg. Gondola. Egypt. Delaware. Christmas Carol. Well, good evening. Yes, you can clap. Hello, welcome. You can clap because it is championship night here on Quiz Central. We crown a red division champion here tonight. Two very good teams going at it as we welcome in Midland High School and Linden High School. One of these two teams will wear the red division crown for season eight. We started off with 48 teams this season. We divided them into four separate 12 team divisions based on the size of the schools. The red, white, blue, and gold divisions each crown a champion. The four members of those four division championship teams each receive a $2,500 one year scholarship to Central Michigan University. Plus we'll be giving away four textbook scholarships to four lucky Quiz Central seniors courtesy of the CMU bookstore. Midland and Linden. Red Division Championship game and time for us to get right at it with these two very good teams. And our first round is always the Maroon and Gold Rush round. Two minute rapid fire round. First player to signal gets a chance to answer the question. Any wrong answers will allow the opposing team to answer the question. No consulting among team members here in round number one. Correct answers are all worth 10 points apiece. Everybody ready to go? Hands on the buzzers and two minutes on the clock. The Red Division Championship begins now. The Vanity of Human Wishes is by what man whose life was chronicled by James Boswell and who compiled Lyndon Nick? Samuel Johnson. Yes, Johnson is right and Lyndon's on the board. Though its manufacture simultaneously produces dioxins with severe teratogenic effects, what colorful substance was a common Vietnam era Lyndon Sam. Agent Orange. Yeah, Agent Orange is right. The Evil Umbrella Corporation is the villain in what series? Lyndon Matt. Resident Evil. Yes, Resident Evil is right. Tom Simpson hopes to marry Piney Woods, and the gambler John Oakhurst dies after being expelled from the title town in what story written by Bret Hart? And nobody knows. We'll go to the next question. What color? Links Puritan Laws, Noah Webster's Lyndon Quinn. Blue. Yes, blue is right. The Monteverde Cloud Forest and Lake Arenal lie in what Central American country between Nicaragua and Panama? Midland, Charlie. Costa Rica. Yes, Costa Rica is right and Midland is on the board. In Greek myth, what titan was punished by being chained to a rut? Lyndon Sam. Prometheus. Yeah, that is right. San Polo and Castello are sestiare or districts of what Italian city whose namesake lagoon, an inlet of the Adriatic Sea, receives its Grand Canal? Midland Sylvia. Venice? Yes, Venice is correct. What author described a mock battle with St. George in The Reluctant Dragon and wrote about Ratty, Mole, and Mr. Toad in The Wind in the... Linda Nick. Kenneth Graham? Yes, Graham is right. What immobile piece, which accounts for six of each player's 40, can only be defeated by a minor, and time is up. Not able to get that one fully in, and Linden leads Midland 60 to 20 after the opening round. The only question that we really missed was uh, 
The Outcasts of Poker Flat, the story written by Bret Hart, and uh, kind of an obscure one at that. Uh, the last question would have been the game Stratego I was talking about. The bomb is the only one that can uh, be defeated by a miner. Didn't really read enough of that to get into it. All right, time for taking a little bit of a breather here as we introduce both teams here in this Red Division Championship game, beginning with Midland High School. Kyle, welcome to Quiz Central. Well, I am Kyle Franson. I uh, am a sophomore at Midland High School this year, and I play the piano. I'm Charlie Light. I'm a freshman at Midland High School, and I play the violin in orchestra. My name is Sylvia. I'm a senior, and I do debate. I'm Joseph Stanley. I am a junior, and I am in the orchestra. And Midland is coached by Melissa Toner and Carol Neff, and the alternates are Ben Yates, Andrew Kim, and Noah Danielson. We welcome Midland High School. And their opponents are the Linden Eagles. Quinn, welcome to the show. Hi, my name is Quinn Baumgartner. I'm a senior at Linden High School, and I play tuba in the marching band. My name's Sam. I'm also a senior, and I'm attending the University of Michigan next year. I'm Nicholas Novak. I'm a junior at Linden High School, and I enjoy reading classical literature. My name is Matt Smith. I'm a senior at Linden High, and I love my grandmother. And Linden is coached by Dan Schneider and Bethany George. The alternates are James Briscoe, Scott Matlock, and Kaylee Rogerson. We welcome Linden High School. <laughs> All right, with one round in the books, time for us to head to our second round here tonight on Quiz Central. It is called the kickoff round. We'll kick it off with a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. I'll ask one toss-up with the team answering correctly, getting 10 points. After a correct answer, that team will be asked up to three bonus questions worth 10 points apiece. Consulting among team members is allowed only on the bonus questions, not on the toss-up. And once a team incorrectly answers a bonus, we'll go back to a toss-up for both teams. So everybody, get your buzzers ready. Here comes toss-up number one. Curiously, the first 40 values of n squared minus n plus 41 are these numbers. Twin examples differ by 2, and they are not crossed out in the sieve of Aristophanes. Composite numbers are essential. Midland Kyle. Prime numbers. Yes, prime numbers, absolutely right. And Kyle got it, 10 points for Midland. And now bonus questions. No buzzers needed. You can confer. Sylvia, the answer's from you. This song features the line, you gave my life direction, a game show love connection. While at another, its vocalist sings, I don't want to miss a single thing you do tonight. Name this song, which asks in its chorus, ain't that Mr. Mister on the radio stereo? Hey, soul sister. Hey, soul sister. That is absolutely right. Second bonus for you. Hey, soul sister is sung by Pat Monahan, the lead singer for this group who also performed Calling All Angels and Meet Virginia. Train? Yeah, Train is right and a chance to sweep. Another song by Train is this one, which mentions the best soy latte that you ever had and me. Coffee shop. Oh, not going to happen on that one. No, that's not the right answer. Called Drops of Jupiter. But able to get two out of the three in the musical category. It's 60 to 50. Linden on top of Midland and a toss-up for both teams. This author's tell-all novel, Answered Prayers, was left unfinished at his death. In other works, he wrote about two parolees who murder a Kansas farm family and about the... Linda Nick. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. That's what I needed. Truman Capote is the answer. Absolutely right. I was going to tell you, In Cold Blood or Breakfast at Tiffany's, you got it by saying Truman Capote along with that. Ten points. Bonus questions now. No buzzers needed. Fort Linden. Underwater explorer Bob Ballard located the wreck of the German battleship Bismarck in 1989. In 2002, Ballard found the wreck of this other World War II era warship, a U.S. Navy vessel that was commanded by John F. Kennedy at the time of its sinking. PT-109? Yes, PT-109 is right. Second bonus for you. Ballard is most famous for finding the wreck of this passenger ship that sank in 1912, about 300 miles southeast of Newfoundland. Titanic? Yeah, the Titanic is right, and a chance to sweep. The Titanic was mostly explored using this three-person deep-sea vehicle operated by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. It's, a, it's a, my name. Um, uh, Sam, need an answer for George. Now, it's called the Elvin. 
able to get two on the bonus and lead 90 to 50. That's Linden's lead and a toss-up question for both teams. The sour revolution in this country overthrew Mohammad Daoud Khan. Soviet troops left it in 1989. Lyndon Quinn. Mongolia? No, not the right one. Midland, I'll finish for one of you. Barack Obama has promised to remove U.S. troops. Midland, Charlie. Afghanistan? Yeah, Afghanistan is what we are looking for. This uh, nation whose capital is Kabul. Got it early. Ten points for Midland. Bonus questions now. No buzzers needed, and you can confer. One physical quantity has dimensions of force per unit area. Name that quantity measured with a barometer. Barometric pressure or atmospheric pressure? Pressure is what I needed. Yep, you got it in both sets. That is correct. Second bonus for you. Barometers are often filled with this liquid metal, whose density is about 13.5 grams per cubic centimeter. Mercury. Yeah, mercury is the right one, a chance to sweep. In 1982, IUPAC redefined the conditions called standard temperature and pressure to mean a pressure equal to this unit. It equals 100 kilopascals and is slightly less than atmospheric pressure. Sylvia, I need an answer. Um, AMP? No, I can't take that. I, I, I needed bars, bar or millibars. I could have taken either one of those. So you're able to get two on the bonus, and that signals the end of the round. Got a good one going here, Red Division Championship game. Linden leading Midland by 10, and the perfect 10 is coming up right after this. My child who's watching Super Y and it said, what letter makes the sound err? And my two-year-old is jumping up and down going, R, R, R. <laughs> I love that. I wish I knew the genius that came up with Dinosaur Train. I mean, what little boy especially doesn't like dinosaurs and trains and to put them together in one show? My family does without a lot of stuff, but I would be horrified if we had to do without PBS. Welcome back to Quiz Central, Red Division Championship Game. Midland has been here three times. This is their third uh, meeting in the Red Championship Game. In uh, Season 5, they went to the Championship Game. In Season 6, they were the Red Champions as well and ended up winning the uh, Grand Championship that year. Linden, first time in the Championship Game here this season. As a matter of fact, their first wins on Quiz Central came this year. They got a shot to win it all here in the Red Division. All right, time for us to move along to our next round in this very close game. It's called the Perfect Ten. 60-second round where each team will have a separate set of 10 questions from their choice of three categories. Teams can either answer or pass a question in order to answer as many of the 10 questions as possible in 60 seconds. And then the opposing team will have 30 seconds to answer any past or incorrectly answered questions or questions we didn't get to. And each correct answer is worth 10 points. Teams you can consult in this round. The team that is trailing has the first choice of the clues to the categories. Midland, that would be you. The clues in the perfect 10 tonight are... State of the Senate, serve and volley, or all that jazz? State of the Senate, please. State of the Senate, it is. The category for you is senators and states. Name these states from their senators in the 112th Congress. All right? Senators and states, name these states from their senators in the 112th Congress. 60 seconds on the Midland clock. Barbara Boxer and Dianne Feinstein. California. California. Yeah, that's right. Bernie Sanders and Patrick Leahy. Vermont. Vermont. Yes, that's correct. Olympia Snow and Susan Collins. Maine. Maine. Maine is right. Charles Schumer and Kristen Gallibrand. Illinois. No, that's not right. Mary Landro and David Vitter. 
Wisconsin. No, that's not right. Lisa Murkowski and Mark Begich. Pass, please. Al Franken and Amy Klobuchar. Minnesota. Minnesota? Yeah, Minnesota's right. Tom Harkin and Chuck Grassley. Pass. Mitch McConnell and Rand Paul. Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky's right. Jim Webb and Mark Warner. Pass. And that's all 10, able to get a total of five correct answers. Split them right down the middle. Lyndon, it does leave five for you out there to try to steal. Again, the category is senators and states. Name these states from their senators in the 112th Congress. 30 seconds on the Lyndon clock. Charles Schumer and Kristen Gallibrand. Nevada? Nope, that's not right. Mary Landro and David Vitter. Massachusetts? Nope, that's not right. Lisa Murkowski and Mark Begich. Texas. Texas. Nope, that's not right. Tom Harkin and Chuck Grassley. Texas. No, that's not right. Jim Webb and Mark Warner. Texas. And that's not right either. Texas not represented, unfortunately, for you in this one. Uh, no steals of the five. Here are those senators and states. Chuck Schumer was New York. David Vitter was Louisiana. Murkowski and Begich, Alaska. Harkin and Grassley in Iowa. And Webb and Warner in Virginia. All right, 130 to 90, Midland with the lead. Linden, your choice now. The remaining two categories here in the Perfect Ten, and they are serve and volley, or all that jazz. Oh, jazz. You've got a better chance. Okay, jazz. I think so. Yeah. Okay. All that jazz. All that jazz. Category is, with which instrument are these jazz musicians primarily associated? Again, with which instrument? Are these jazz musicians primarily associated? 60 seconds on the Linden clock. Dizzy Gillespie. Piano. Nope, that's not right. Charlie Bird Parker. Trumpet. Trumpet. Nope, that's not right. Winton Marsalis. Trumpet. Yes, trumpet is correct. That's right. Glenn Miller. Trombone. Yes, trombone is right. Benny Goodman. Clarinet. Clarinet's correct. Miles Davis. Trumpet. Yes, trumpet's right. Kenny G. Saxophone. Yeah, saxophone's right. Duke Ellington. Piano. Piano's right. John Coltrane. Trumpet. No, that's not right. Harry Connick Jr. Ooh, singing. singing guitar. Singing. I think he sings. Singing. Uh, that's not right. That is not the instrument. That is all 10 of them able to get six corrects. Slow start, great middle, last two didn't get. So four out there now for Midland to try to steal. And again, the category Midland is, with which instrument are these jazz musicians primarily associated? 30 seconds on the Midland clock. Dizzy Gillespie. Guitar. Guitar. Nope, that's not right. Charlie Bird Parker. Trumpet. Trumpet. No, that's not right. John Coltrane. Trombone. Trombone. No, that's incorrect. Harry Connick Jr. Trombone. No, that's not right either. Not able to steal any of those. Here are those instruments we're looking for, and I know I heard on Linden's, but not from the captain, Dizzy Gillespie trumpet, but uh, the answer was not coming from the captain there. We couldn't take it. Charlie Bird Parker is a saxophone. John Coltrane, a saxophone. Harry Connick Jr., a piano. So, Linden 150 and Midland 130, and the perfect 10 is in the books. Very important round coming up now. Let's get right to it. It is the home stretch round here tonight in this Red Division Championship game. And as we head down the home stretch, I'm going to have more toss-up questions followed by bonus questions for the team that answers the toss-up correctly. All correct answers worth 10 points apiece. Very important toss-up. Both teams get your buzzers ready. In 2011, Ron Schmitz was followed by David Keene as president of this group, which sponsors the Eddie Eagle program. Lyndon Quinn. Sierra Club? No, that's not right, Midland. I'll finish for one of you. In December 2012, its CEO, Wayne LaPierre, called for a school shield program to arm school security. Name this group that lobbies on behalf of gun owners. Oh, can't, sorry, I can't take it. I saw talking there, and I can't take an answer. I'm, unfortunately, it is the National Rifle Association, but I can't take an answer on that. So we're going to go to another toss-up. Everybody get your buzzers ready. This river rises in Uttarukhand province 
and has the world's second largest discharge rate after the Amazon. <laughs> Linda Nick. The Rhine? No, not the right one. Midland, I'll finish for one of you. Its delta creates a massive mangrove forest known as the Sundarbans before emptying into the Bay of Bengal. Midland Charlie. Ganges? Yes, the Ganges is right. Charlie got it. Ten points for Midland. Bonus questions now. No buzzers needed. You can confer now. And uh, Sylvia, the answer's from you. Name these Australian cities. Australia's most populous city is this one. Located on Port Jackson, whose harbor contains a Jorn Utzon designed opera house. Sydney. Yeah, Sydney's the right one. Second bonus for you. Walter Burley Griffin designed the plan for this city, southwest of Sydney, which became Australia's capital in 1927. Canberra. Defer? Canberra. Yeah, Canberra, Canberra is how they pronounce it, but that is absolutely right. Second bonus, good. Chance to sweep the bonus now for Midland. This city on the Swan River in Western Australia is 12 miles inland from the port of Fremantle. Uh, Davis. No, nope, not the right one. The city name is Perth, but you're able to get two out of the three and pull into a 10 point lead as Midland 160, Linden 150. Toss up question, both teams buzzers ready. The main character of this novel accepts a position from Mrs. Fairfax after spending, Linda Nick. Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre is right. Jump that one about five words in. Nicely done, Nick. 10 points, bonus questions now for Lyndon. Name these explorers of North America. The crew of the Discovery mutinied on the last voyage of this English explorer who also sailed on the half moon and gave his name to a large Canadian bay. Uh, Hudson. Hudson? Yeah, Hudson is right, second bonus for you. Henry VII sponsored the earlier voyage to North America of this Italian who may have reached the Grand Banks of Newfoundland. Defer. Americo Vespucci? No, not the right one. It's John Cabot, but able to get one on the bonus and grab a 10-point lead. Linden on top now by 10, and that bell signals the end of the round. The Red Division Championship game is coming down to one round, and we'll have that final countdown right after this. What if there were a neighborhood where every child felt they belonged and a big dog helped them stay little, a little longer? A monkey helped them find the wonder in every little thing and a flightless bird showed them how to soar. Support the people and programs that never stop asking, what if? One tremendous thing about PBS is that it makes art accessible by putting it on a platform where millions of people can access it for free. And we need it. We need music, we need dance, we need great theater for our soul, for joy in our lives. A lot of people flip on PBS and hear or see something that wakes up that integral part of being a human being, which is enjoying the arts of other human beings. So I'm grateful for PBS as an artist and as a viewer. And welcome back. Yes, this Red Division Championship game coming right down to the wire. Next time on Quiz Central, we continue on with our championship games. It will be the White Division who we will crown next time. Hope you'll join us. But I hope you stick around for the final two minutes of this one because we have a barn burner heading into our final countdown. Fifth and final round, two-minute rapid-fire round. First player to signal gets a chance to answer the question. Any wrong answers will allow the opposing team to answer the question. No consulting among team members here in the final countdown. Correct answers are all worth 10 points apiece. Everybody ready? Hands on the buzzers. Linden leads by 10 as we put two minutes on the clock. And the final countdown begins now. What arboreal mammal of genus Bradypus has long, coarse hairs and hook-like claws useful for moving upside down on tree? Midland Sylvia. Sloth. Yes, sloth is right, and we are tied. What politician gave the 7th of March speech, was Secretary of State twice, debated Robert Hayne in 1830, and was a Massachusetts senator? Lyndon Quinn. Daniel Webster? Yes, Webster is right. Lyndon leads by 10. 
whose congressional testimony on Benghazi was delayed? Hillary. Middle and Sylvia. Hillary Clinton. Yes, Clinton is right. Middle and back on top. Tension and cluster are forms of what affliction that affects the majority of Americans and that can cause nausea and auras in its migraine form? Middle and Charlie. Headache. Yeah, headache is right. Victory for the Warista forces over French imperialists, imperialists at the 1862 Battle of Puebla is celebrated on what spring holiday popular in Mexico? Middle and Sylvia. Cinco de Mayo. Yes, that's right. What author of In the Night Kitchen and Seven Little Monsters died in 2012? Linda Nick. Maurice Sendak. Sendak is right. What composer of In Our Own Sweet Way, the leader of a quartet whose album Time Out contained the hit Take Five, Lyndon Sam. Dave Brubeck. Yes, Brubeck is right. What star, the closest Cepheid variable, is the brightest Lyndon Sam? Andromeda. No, that's not right. I'll finish for Midland. Lies at the end of the Little Dipper's handle and is the North Star. Midland Kyle. Polaris. Yes, Polaris is right. Nefertari was the wife of what great Egyptian pharaoh who built the temples of Abu Sim... Linda Nick. Ramses. More specific. Second. Yes, that's correct. What romantic American poet and West Point dropout wrote sonnet to... Time is up and afterwards the bell beat you. Can't take an answer, Sylvia. And we're tied at 210. 210, 210 is the score. Let's have a round of applause for both teams to get to where we are. That bell just beat Sylvia for that final chance at an answer. I won't even tell you what the answer was because you guys did not miss a single question in the final countdown. I want to make sure that the score is correct. Okay, the score is correct. It is 210 to 210. The Red Division Championship comes down to overtime. In overtime, I have one question. Each team is playing as individuals. They cannot consult among themselves. Playing as individuals, if they ring in and answer correctly to this question, their team wins the Red Division Championship. If they miss, I will read the rest of the question for the individuals on the other team. One of them can ring in. If they get it right, they win. If nobody gets the question right, we'll throw it out and go to another question. Someone has to answer correctly in overtime to win. Deep breath, everybody. For the Red Division Championship in overtime, here's the question. In 1297, this modern-day country was seized by Francesco the Cunning. It is ruled by the Grimaldi dynasty, which included Rainier III, the husband of American actress Grace Kelly. The gambling resort of Monte Carlo is in Midland, Charlie. Monaco. Monaco is right, and Midland is the Red Division champion. This microstate on the Riviera would have been the rest of the question. Charlie, congratulations. Midland, congratulations. Lyndon, congratulations. What a great game. Another nice round of applause for both of these teams. Wow. Take a deep breath, everybody. This is the second straight game that Lyndon has gone to in overtime just to get here. Guys, he came right down to the wire again. This time didn't go your way, but congratulations. What a run. Nice round of applause for the Linden Eagles. But the Red Division Championship Trophy, Sylvia and Midland High School, they win it in overtime tonight. Congratulations. You get the trophy. You get four scholarships, one-year scholarships to Central Michigan University. And also, as the Red Division Champ, you'll come back again, play in the Final Four against the other division champions for the ultimate Quiz Central title. That's going to do it for us. Great round of applause for two outstanding teams. The winner of the Red Division is Midland High School. Good night, everybody. Quiz Central is brought to you in part by the CMU Bookstore. Your source for maroon and gold pride is the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, and maroon and gold memories can be found at the CMU Bookstore. If it's textbooks you need, you'll find them new and used. If you're looking for technology, the CMU Bookstore's Microchips is an Apple authorized dealer. The CMU Bookstore, on campus in the University Center and online at cmubookstore.com.